Hello there. At what point does the EU become a single country with a Brussels government? Or is it already there? Now, the pro-EU anti-Brexiteers in the UK will say, what has the EU driving for ever closer union got to do with you now we've left the European Union? And I say it has a lot to do with me, Brexiteers and the UK as a whole, because those that want to get the UK back inside the bloc will try to convince others that we can easily re-enter and things will be back to exactly how they were in 2016, which is a blatant lie. And that's on top of us having to join the Euro and Schengen if we did make that monumental error. The EU has other plans, many of which would, in my eyes, make it a de facto nation, which means stripping its member states of whatever is left of their sovereignty in the process. And all you have to do is look to see what recommendations have come out of the Conference on the Future of Europe to realise that. And when extrapolating these recommendations on, you get to understand that the end result is a fully-fledged country called the European Union, with its member states becoming nothing more than local county councils. The Conference on the Future of Europe is the route by which the people of the EU tell the EU Commission, Parliament and Council about how they want the EU to develop. But it's up to those three bodies, with all their national and self-interested politicians and officials, to deliver that vision. But I do wish they'd stop referring to it as Europe, as it's the European Union they're talking about here. Now, just because the conference has the usual single-minded ideals of political activists doesn't mean the actual outcome will deliver any real improvements for the people of the European Union. It'll probably end up with bigger, more expensive cock-ups affecting more people. And I do have to wonder if anyone other than arch-EU federalists wanted to engage with the conference in any significant numbers and put forward any conflicting ideas. But let's see some of the recommendations that came out of the conference, shall we? And the first of them was to remove the need for EU27 member state unanimity within the EU Council on everything except approving new member states and changing the core treaties. That would remove all other vetoes and mean that qualified majority voting across the EU would benefit some states at the cost of others. And here's a really good example of what federalists think of nation states within the EU. Under having the EU as a strong actor on the world stage, it says that when dealing with third countries, the EU should make greater use of its collective political and economic weight, speaking with one voice and acting in a unified way without individual member states dividing the union through inappropriate bilateral responses. Basically, the EU Commission would take over all foreign policy and therefore defence matters within the European Union. And it also talks about strengthening the role of the High Representative to ensure that the EU speaks with one voice on the international stage. And this includes cyber security and deciding what is and isn't fake news and disinformation. And on defence, it talks about the joint armed forces being used for self-defence only. But it is unclear who would decide what is self-defence. But presumably, by talking about joint armed forces, it suggests that the EU Commission would be the one to decide on self-defence. And the reams of words on the environment makes it look as if you'd have to phone up Ursula von der Leyen personally to get permission to switch your central heating on. Then there's the strengthening of the rule of law in member states. Code 4, the EU Commission knows best. And how about strengthening the common European identity by guaranteeing a minimum level of education on the EU and especially its democratic processes, including the history of European integration and European citizenship. 
and it was also recommended that the role of the EU in dealing with both regular and irregular immigration should be strengthened, so divvying up quotas across the EU. And there is much, much more. If only a fraction of this gets implemented, then by the end of the decade the EU will look nothing like it does today, let alone what it looked like in 2016. It will be its own country. But there is one recommendation of note from one of the substreams, that of teaching the English language to a certifiable standard. As a commonly held European language could be achieved in a very short period of time were this to be implemented. Anyway, the EU Commission and EU Parliament will undoubtedly like these proposals, as it almost looks like they wrote them. So the Eurocrats will push ahead, as long as the EU Council of Member State Ministers also agrees. So don't let the Remainers convince you that re-entering the EU would not result in the political destruction of the UK. But that is actually what they want, and what they believe in.